Decay infusions are a source of microorganisms for studying decomposition, fermentation, and disease. Students will be able to observe the different species and the fluctuation in the population. Protists are a diverse group of predominantly unicellular eukaryotes, which means they have a cell nucleus that stores their DNA. Protists reproduce asexually via mitosis and range from unicellular to multicellular organisms. You will need a container, dried leaves, and yeast as food, pond water that contains the microbes, cloth and rubber bands to seal the culture. Step 1. Set your materials by putting the rainwater or pond water in your jar. Step 2. Cut the dried leaves and put it in a jar. Step 3. After putting the dried leaves, put a small amount of yeast. Step 4. Cover your jar with cloth and secure it with rubber bands. Last and final step. Allow the hay infusion to sit undisturbed for at least a week. It may become turbid or cloudy and begin to emit a strong odor. These changes are signs of growth. After a week, the hay infusion populations are ready for examination.